and welcome to episode 21 of Youth Squad Legends Series 9 with Yeovil Town. The first game of the episode is away against Colchester United. And it's fair to say that we are trying to adapt to the league, but we're struggling right now. And we're facing Gavin Massey today, the absolute legend. Alright, we want a big response from the team. Last episode didn't go to plan. We find ourselves down near the bottom of the table. But the league looks pretty close, and if we get a couple of wins on the board, we might actually find ourselves in the playoff places again. Kieran Aziz plays the ball through the middle to Elliot Scores. He passes one, and that is a completely shocking challenge. What's the referee going to give this player? It will be a yellow card for Brindley. Elias Buckman's got a chance here. 25 yards out. Let's go over the wall and into the back of the net. Yay! I think that might be Buckman's first free kick goal. I don't know. Yes, yes. Oh, a good hit with the bicycle kick. That's right, son. You might have noticed whilst clicking onto this video that you Squad Legends has got a different thumbnail. I'd like to know what you guys think of it, so put your thoughts down in the comments section. Elliot Scars moving forward doesn't really have that much support, but he'll, he'll just run himself. He's quick enough, and he's strong enough. Elliot Scars, really good run into the Colchester box. Tom Evans... Running forward. Oh, this is beautiful stuff from the centre-back. And he's got it again. Tom Evans. Look at this. He's still going. Yes! Fuck! Vuvuzela time. Tom Evans. Matt Pennington, the second, probably on the coaching staff at Yeovil Town, I'm sure Jamie Moore, Taylor and Matt Pennington do have a nice friendship. And seeing that goal with a tear in his eye, must say Elliot Scar has been so impressive, holding the ball up, running with it as well. Oh, now they've found the top corner. Tom Evans helpless with the slide challenge. It eluded the goalkeeper as well. 2-1. Another yellow card, Colchester. They might have just scored a goal, but they're struggling to deal with us going forward. Half time! That was a good half of football. 2 1. So I've got a story to tell you about a personal save that me and my mate's doing on Shareplay PS4. So we're playing co op on youth, uh, basically a youth squad legends, but personal save. And we've been taking tips from Barmer sell your players when you can in order to bump them up in May. Elliot scores, nearly scores a goal. So yeah, we sell this Korean guy to Barnet. And the Korean guy that we, we brought from the Youth Academy, he then gets duplicated and Barnet have got two great South Korean centre forwards. How cool is that? Head that thing. Oh, Now we've got a problem. Offside. Tom Evans just stepped forward at the right time. It's a good save by Dalgard anyway. After all the dominance in the first half, we've started to slow down in this second. I've made my three subs because of how tired we looked. If Colchester can get one goal, it'd be a real big kick in the teeth. Buckman. Alves is still upfield. Why have we got players upfield? We're 2-1 up. Away against Colchester. Away and we're fighting a relegation battle. That was a huge, huge chance for Colchester to equalise. Game forward now. Colchester in search of that equaliser. Galesa pings it across field. That is a great pass. No, not Massey. Not Massey. There we are, mate. Running out of play. That's good. Just can't stop them. And the header goes wide. We are treading a fine line. Can't really explain in words how big of a deal a win would be. The team have been in free fall ever since the patch was released. Colchester have got a corner kick and I think the goalkeeper's coming up. The keeper's up, but Dalgard collects and maybe we can break and score a stunning long shot goal. Galesa with it and the referee has called for full time. Not the entertaining end, but it is a win. A magnificent win away against Colchester United. Alright, let's hope to build on that first victory. Yeovil Town against Leeds United. Tom Evans, one-on-one -on -one with an attacker. There is no competition. Hines takes the ball and we've got plenty of space on this right-hand side. 
Got to defend. Good touch by the keeper. Go on, Agude. That's yours. Yes. Andreas Ramos. Two runners. Agude being one of them. Elliot scores bombing into the box. Agude with the fake shot. And drills it across. Not to be on that attack. But the goalkeeper's decided to get mucky anyway. Go wide. We have Bernardo Lobo. Yes, lad. He passes one. He passes two. He's got that speed. Literally got taken out by his own player there. There goes the cross. Oh, wonderful touch by Hines. That is crazy good central defensive midfield play. Hines is having a belting game. He's running rings around the Leeds United midfield. Elliot scores now. Agude. Ramos. I'm liking the possession. Hines again. Now Lobo. Oh. And Elliot scores. Nearly had the chance to make it 1-0. We're actually playing better in this game than what we were against Colchester, but we still haven't really made that pressure count yet. But Agude has done really well on this right-hand side. Oh, it will be a corner for Yeovil Town. I actually don't know what's happening. I was complaining about this patch last episode, but actually, playing it today, it feels great. It actually feels great. It's definitely tougher than what it was beforehand, but Legendary is supposed to be tougher. I felt like I was having a bigger challenge against World Class, but this feels better. Oh, wow, Aziz. If we connected with the player, that would have been a penalty. Oh, that's... Oh, what a goal. Oh, that is stunning. You can't take anything away from that. That is absolutely superb. The technique... It, oh my word, look at the curve that he produced. Honestly, if I scored that, I would have still been screaming. Honestly. Now the problem's here that they're going to go defensive. Elliot scores. Oh, it's a penalty. I thought he took the man before the ball. And it's the chance to draw level immediately after conceding the opening goal. This is a big moment, Elliot. Let's go. He's going to the right. And the keeper, well, he went to the right as well, but the ball's travelled over him. Yeovil Town 1, Leeds United 1. Ramos. Go for the quick 1-2. It's Aziz. Ramos. Oh, what a beautiful Yeovil goal. Get him. Andreas Ramos makes it 2-1. And we've turned it around in 14 minutes of play. They scored in the 52nd. We take the lead in the 66th. Get it. Oh, that is a great interception. I think that was from Alves as well. Nice stuff. Elliot scores. Alves has continued his run. Well, that's some brilliant play. He skips over his challenge as well. Scintillating stuff from the left back. Crossed in. Header into the bottom corner. I thought he was offside, but he's clearly not. We might feel a bit hard done by if we don't win this game. However, some great goals being scored. Andreas Ramos with a bad first touch. And the centre-back's there to mop it up. The centre-back who actually equalised for Leeds. Full-time, Yeovil Town 2, Leeds United 2. And this is another point up to lower mid-table. It looks like it's going to be a very, very tough season. Centre-back from Cameroon, Abdullah Adouba. Overall, of 41 to 57 with a potential of 68 to 94. But we have a full youth squad, so we're going to have to release some players. Starting with Harms Meets. Samuel Agbeko is also getting kicked. And we'll leave it like that for the time being. Hopefully we don't have more than two 94 potential players in this scouting report. No, all is good. We've sorted the youth squad out for now. This one should be interesting. It's the third game of the episode. Derby County sitting 11th place. Yeovil Town sitting 15th. Go, Galesa. No, you've run past the cone. I'm going to try and shrug off the fact that we are the least scoring team in the league. We've already scored four times in this episode. Go on, Agude. Keep on thinking Agude is like rapid, but he just isn't. Although he is a high overall winger, his uh, acceleration and sprint speed aren't what you'd expect. 
Elliot scores. Nicely done. I think the lesser was offside, but Teddy Mendy couldn't find him anyway. 34 minutes gone, and I realised that Tom Ince is getting way too much space on his flank, so we're going to change the attacking runs of Alves from always overlap to stay back while attacking. Elias Buckingham with a 39-yard free kick. At, well, I'm going to go try and score it. Buckman has hit the post from 39 yards. Yes, Gilles is free. And, oh, finishing training. Why are you on finishing training? Alves' bike defending also means, keep up, that Lobo can express himself. And it doesn't really matter if he loses the ball because there's always someone there to cover him. Tactically, I think we've got it spot on. Now that we've closed Tom Ince down, Derby really aren't much going forward. And maybe we could spring a surprise win at Pride Park. We've got a lot of players on the pitch that are struggling to keep the fitness. I'm freshening up the attack, keeping the defence the same. If we do concede a goal, it's kind of expected, to be honest. They are Derby County and they are playing at home. But if we can hit them on the counter-attack and maybe get that one chance, you never know. The lesser on the wing. Plenty still in his tank. In this part of the pitch. Who's getting into this box? Great skill by Glesser. Could he go himself? All the tricks in the book. And now he lays it off to Tom Evans. Great passing. Tom Evans again. And now he's Harry Killing. Yeovil Town have scored the goal. What a beautiful goal to split one of the best teams in the championship. Great time to do it as well in the 89th minute. Harry Killip. It's Derby County nil, Yeovil Town won. And they've only got one minute of added time. The referee has been very kind to us. That's it. We have won against Derby. Great result. Big shout out to Neil Reach. He was injured halfway through that game. He should have come off, really. However, the option to keep him on and refresh the whole attack worked a treat. And he still defended well with a sprained ankle. He'll be out for three weeks. I've recorded a squad report, but I'm going to put it into the next episode because I'm going to double upload tonight. So I remember the promise. I know you're supposed to get a squad report in this episode, but you will be getting one tonight. This has been Cutsy. Thank you for watching this episode of You Squad Legends. If you've enjoyed it, please give the video a like, and I'll see you next time.